do you? How are we doing ladies and gents, boys and girls? My name's Tom Dyer. Welcome back to another video where I'm showing you, you, super amazing, awesome flare moves which you can use behind the bar to make big tips, more sales, and basically make you look like an absolute legend. First of all, I need to get an apron on because this bad boy's a little bit dirty. So, let's throw this, let's get this bad boy in. Oh. So yeah, this is my bondage apron. Mm, not really, I'm joking. What I'm gonna show for you today is five long pours which look super awesome. I'm gonna do these five pours of five different bottles to show you that they can be done with basically pretty much any bottle behind the bar. If you wanna go and check me out on Patreon, I'm gonna be posting four videos a month of Three Minute Thursday. For those of you who've been watching my channel for a little while, you may remember Three Minute Thursday. It's three minute videos every Thursday teaching you how to do flare tricks. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. I really appreciate any support which you can give and I'll do my best to give you more, more content. Pour number one is what I like to call the long pour. And it's a regular grip. It's got a nice cut at the end. Looks super good. This is how you do it. You want the pour spout facing the receptacle that you're gonna be pouring into. I'm right-handed, so the bottle's on my right side, then the, sh then the shaker in this case, the Tom's Tiki shaker, is on the left. I want to grab it in between these fingers, okay? Sort of in between those creases. So that's where the bottle's going, and I'm grabbing with the fingers there, and then the thumb is coming in front of the bottle like this. Now, it's not as comfortable on the short neck like this, so I'm gonna move my fingers down the bottle slightly, and I'm gonna grab it like this. So I've got my little finger down there, but I'm not grabbing it in the palm of my hand with the fingers, because that's gonna give you more movement in the wrist So when you come to pour. Now, the point is, is that the base of the bottle needs to come up. The pour spout almost stays where it is. It's the same principle if you have like a jug or a shaker of water. You're pouring, you lower the base to stop the pour. Boom. We're pouring vertical, lower the base, and then we move the bottle across. One more time. Nice and long. Bosh. Mm. Right, the second long pour is like the first, because they're all long pours. Now we're gonna be doing a reverse long pour. Now, it is all about the grab for this one as well. You're gonna have your, your index finger and your thumb like this. That's gonna slip over the top of the bottle. So you're like that. Look, my finger, other fingers aren't even grabbing and the other fingers just place down the bottle. From this position, just find the right point. You don't want it near the, the shoulder of the body. You want it near the top, because you're gonna have more control over the bottle. And then from here, the same principle. The base of the bottle comes up, the pour spout stays where it is, and that is your reverse pour position, all right? Now the cut is a cut across like this. It's gotta be a smooth arc. Down, cut, and across over to here. Grab, with the grab I've already showed you, come up, and then smooth arc. Be careful no one's standing behind you. Make sure your bottle is not wet so it's gonna slip out of your hands. Uh, and just be careful, because it's quite an aggressive pour. But let's move on. Pour number three is what I like to call the rocket pour. Also kind of aggressive, so there is a time and a place for all of these pours, depending on where you work and what your guests are looking for. Now again, you always wanna try and make sure the pour spout is facing the tin or the glass that you're gonna be pouring into. But this one is gonna be with what we call a tennis grip. So to grab hold of it, the bottle's like that. Thumbs down, right hand I'm on, and I'm grabbing the bottle like this. Nice and solid around the bottle. You're gonna do the same pour as before. Before we were doing it like this, now we're doing it like this. So we're gonna come and pour. Now you can make the, the pour as long as you want. Obviously, if you're pouring more than one cocktail, you can do really, really long pours like this. And when you're gonna cut, like a ninja. Pour number four is what I like to call the Vegas pour, because whenever I went to Las Vegas, I see the bartenders doing this pour a lot. So it looks like this. Oh, I love it when that happens. First of all, the shaker. I'm pouring with my right hand again, so the bottle's gonna be in my right hand. Shaker in my left. So as the shaker is on the bar top like this, I'm gonna hold onto it, and I'm gonna turn it backwards. The open and facing up, grabbing hold of the bottle, like so. Now, 
The motion is, without holding onto the bottle, is like this. You're gonna be pouring into the shaker. And you, what you wanna do is you do one, two, then you're gonna bounce the bottle and turn the shaker down. Now, what you don't wanna do is turn the shaker like this. If you turn the shaker like this, all the liquid's gonna pour out. You need to swing it down. Swing that shaker down. Swing it down. Because when you swing it down, you're pushing all the force into the base of the shaker, keeping the liquid which you've already poured inside the shaker. That is the science bit. I hope he was paying attention. Grab and hold on the bottle, grab and hold of the shaker, reverse, pour, swing down into the shaker down there, cut off. It's like that. Pour, one, two, swing down, three, four, five, cut. So there's two ways you can finish the cut. So pour, okay, you can bring the two together and finish like that. That's the safest way to do it. Or you can do a nice cut like we did on the first long pour to finish off that cut or finish off that pour. So one, two, boom, boom, whoop. It's a bit more difficult because you're in an awkward position, but with practice, you can get it. And if you really want to get snazzy, you can do a little throw, whoop, throw and catch the liquid afterwards. It's still in there, still in there. Right, the fifth and final pour is what we call the cell phone pour. Now I could say it with using the English word, the mobile phone pour, but it sounds really crap. So we call it the cell phone pour. Looks like this. All right, super long pour, turn around, boom, boom, boom. First of all, grab and hold of the shaker, same as before. Turn it over so the opened end is facing towards you so you can see into that open end. Hello. Okay. Then the second part is you're going to grab the bottle like a tennis grab. So that's palm facing away, thumbs down, grab hold of it. And you're going to lift the bottle up, bring it around your left ear. Okay. And then you're going to rest this on your shoulder. But as you come to rest it, you bring the shaker up and you're going to grab hold of the bottle with your, uh, your head or your ear and your shoulder, like you are on the phone. Like, hey mom, what's going on? You're right, yeah, cool. And you're gonna grab and you can start pouring. Now the good thing about this is you can see all the liquid going into the shaker. So the aim should be really good, okay? Now you would never pour this much, obviously. When you come to stop the pour or cut the pour off, you're literally just gonna go one, two, three, four, grab hold of the bottle and cut it off like this. This is the safest and the easiest way. It's the only one which doesn't have a super fancy cut. If you can think up your own cut, like a, a bounce something, please do let me know. Tom Dye Bartender on Instagram or TikTok or Twitter or Facebook. Show me your videos of you doing a fancy cut with the cell phone pour. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the five long pause, which basically made you look like a complete badass. I think you will agree. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. I really enjoyed shooting this one. I think you may be able to tell. Um, let me know what you think. I'm always open to suggestions as well. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. There's gonna be some super cool content coming on there very, very soon. I'm actually gonna film some of that right now. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Go on, go on press subscribe. You've got this far, you may as well can subscribe to the channel. If you should. Uh, and if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up to let me know that you like the video because that really helps me out and pushes the video to more people. So thanks very much for watching. Until next time, mm, see you then.